We got a tablet. There was no time for anything else. All I wanted was to get out of that dump pronto. There was no time for any. Right, I don't think I can just open the door and. Hey, you out there! Let me out of here, you dirtbags! Come on, who's out there? Hello? Nothing. So, this isn't gonna be easy after all. <laughs> I started to take in my surroundings and bing, bang, boom. I was seeing salvation in every little thing that caught a glint. In my mind, they were already shaping into something that would definitely get these goons' attention. I was gonna do big, loud things with petty stuff. Like a poor country using scraps to send a rocket to the moon. Hmm. Is that a clue? With a stereo wallpaper? That's an odd choice for a detention type basement. Yeah, I know, right? Very suspicious. Well, oh, oh, we got some food. I could use this. Oh, never mind. It's just an empty soup can. We can eat that. If I wanted any tar, there's plenty spilled on the floor. <laughs> we can use that. Wall of pictures. Parish of Starry Knowledge Camp highlights. So, that's who I'm dealing with, huh? I don't want any of them around. Ever. Slippers? I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home in my robe with a stiff drink, a Maurice Ventricool record, and a searing fear of the telephone. Mm. Oh, isn't that nice? Leave a man shoeless and offer him slippers. <laughs> what about this tablet? Whoever tossed me into the clink must have left this here for my amusement. Let's watch some YouTube videos. Distracted is the last thing I want to be right now. Right. I can't just pick it up with my bare hands. Nah, it's no use just by itself. Hmm. It's a fire extinguisher. Hmm. Extremely powerful, huh? Sounds like a rocket of a time. Alright, so maybe we could use the plastine rag. I don't want to stain up. it with the stuff. Oh, no. What about that? Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. Hmm. Hmm. Not directly. Are we making a bomb? We got some empty soup can. And I don't think I can combine them directly. I don't need to clean this. I don't have to clean it. Hmm. Some metal door. No good. It's bolted from the other side and no one's responding. Gotta find a way to get their attention somehow. If I wanted any tar... For some reason there are barrels of tar everywhere. It's a window right there. Judging by its placement, it seems I'm in a basement. <laughs> Rhymes. <laughs> I ain't getting past those bars without some heavy duty power tools. No reason to do that. It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. Hmm. It's a plank. It's what scientists have lately been calling a plank. Things are ramping up. Maybe we could use this plank to pick up the puddle. Of tire. It's a puddle. I think I need something with a little depth. Never mind. How about this? This is the pick of the rest. I think I need something else there first. Woke up in a strange basement with a pulsating headache and no shoes on. 
and they, whoever they are, give me slippers. Slippers. <laughs> Need to con conduct a way to escape this dump. Plenty of junk lying around. Maybe I could ring something up. Maybe I could rig something up. Hmm. It's not giving me any clues. Sorry about that. What if I? Nah, it's no use. What if I grab? Nah, I don't think I need the slippers. I ain't putting on slippers unless I'm at home. Right, you already said that. Well, yeah, they do look nice and fluffy and warm, but comfort would just distract me right now. They're pretty clean already. Oh, well, there's a mug right there. <laughs> I miss that. I'll find. All right, so now we can. There's nothing in the mug I could pour into it. Whoops. I mean, the tar puddle. All right, let's get me some of this tar. Here we go. Now it's a little shallow pool of dense, extra sticky tar. Now we can use a plank. There's a shallow pool of tar. I think I tar. need something else there first, to get the right angle. The empty can of soup. Alright, let's stick this in there. What the heck was I concocting here? It felt abstract. Ridiculous. Absurd, even. The foundation of a really far-fetched and scatterbrained solution to my predicament. But this was a pretty ridiculous adventure already, so I guess I was just... adapting. Alright, now we got a stable empty soup can stuck in tar. Should we... And a plank. Place this the was plank over it. Was I feeling proud of myself? A definite and resounding no. But it was all I had. Look She's a fire extinguisher. Cringeworthy blue ribbon taker and the crazy enough that it could work regional semifinals. Definitely not a highlight in my career. Assuredly not a low though. Maybe those late night Mac Viper and Mac and Cheese syndicated binges had some kind of effect on my person. Good old Mac and Cheese. We're an achievement, a cute adventure. Cleaning it won't do a damn thing. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, I didn't really make calculations. <laughs> All right, door. Brace for serious, imminent impact. Prisoner. The boss wants to see you. Come on out here. You have got to be kidding me. Why didn't you use it? You could have hit his head Mr. and tried to run. Or should I call you Don? No, you shouldn't. Katai will do just fine. We provided you with some slippers. Did Brother Gleam not assess your shoe size correctly? Now listen here, Buster. Unless I'm in the comfort of my own home, I don't do slippers. You can leave a man pantless, shirtless even. But don't mess with his footwear symmetry, you barbarian. What is this place and who are you anyway? This is about that damned book, isn't it? How deductive. Earning your keep, huh? Come now, don't take it personally, Katype. You were useful in leading us to it for a while, and then you were no more. We never really wanted to hurt you, or your shoes. You're sullen, grumpy, and mean to everyone. We like you. You would have gone far in our organization. Hmm, well, did you find the darn thing? As soon as the kidnapped troops got you out of there, our recon squad was dispatched to retrieve the volume. So you're really convinced you know its exact whereabouts, huh? Close to 100% certain. Ah, speak of the devil. All right, Brother Bright, was our information correct? Yes, Brother Starburst. So it's true. The Necronomicon really was hidden in the library? Kind of. Y yes, your starriness. Well, don't just stand there, you fool. Let's see it. Well, we we don't really have it. What? A sigil was gone, broken into tiny little pieces. 
and something had clearly been hidden in there, but no book in sight. Could type? Everything was intact when I was in there, so don't put it on me, your grand poobah shininess. What about the librarian? It's a funny thing, we ran past each other when we were on our way to collect the tome. He looked so scared. <laughs> well, of course he looks scared of Bob. <laughs> <spot on. laughs> Anything else? <laughs> I don't think so. <gasps> oh, wait, yes. He was carrying a big book and didn't seem too happy about it either. Find me this librarian now! What about me? You don't need me anymore. Oh, just go back to your little cellar. Now let's be real here for a minute. What good am I to you now, cultist? He's right, Brother Starburst. You just chew into our rations, and you don't know anything either way. Oh, all right, just sacrifice him to the Haunter or something. Stop bothering me! Fine with me, boss. Walk, prisoner. Sacrifice him to the Hunter? Uh, I'm gonna need someone from rites and rituals down here ASAP. I'm about to do an R24-A. Come on, guys. You know the drill. Guys? Guys? Sheen? You out there? Anyone? Come on, you know I can't do Jack until we fill out the SNF 187. We don't want any trouble with Coat Union. We've been through this, people. Is anyone out there? Guys? Prisoners not in sacrificial robes. No ceremonial bucket for the collection. We're really running a shoddy operation here. No wonder EOD's kicking our derriers. I'm embarrassed. The prisoner's embarrassed. This is not looking good, brothers. Sheen? Flair? You guys totally bolted, didn't you? Starburst is not gonna be happy when he hears about this, people. This makes us look really, really bad. <laughs> I almost feel like apologizing to the would-be victim. Hey, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, it sort of is. It's our collective fault. I share in it. I take my responsibilities seriously. We're not a startup cult anymore. This is unacceptable. Your striving to be a better evil organization is commendable. Aw, thank you. It's nice to know that at least someone here appreciates it. Don't mention it. I might use a rocket ramp. Hit him in the face. <laughs> Sweet dreams, okay. star lover. Alright, now I can leave, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get back. Oh, maybe we didn't need a tablet after all. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's getting his beauty sleep. He sure needs it. Can I... Yeah, I can go up. Damn it. How'd I know it'd be locked? Well, I did know it was locked. Oh, wait. Looks like we got another... I know, I should focus on my escape, but that hatch leading up to God knows where is too tempting to ignore. What are these starry looks up to? What are they hiding up there? Must be a way to get past that metal hatch. Huge barricaded Huge door. Huge sturdy door. It's barricaded from the outside. Hmm. Another one? Exiting through the heavy door is out of the question. Gotta look for an alternative. The window in the basement, maybe. I ain't getting past those bars without some heavy-duty power tools. Hmm. There's a fire extinguisher. Astronomical mumbo-jumbo. Hmm. Maybe I could grab the extinguisher again. Stair is tender. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. 
Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. Hmm? Tried to mess with this terror flag, but it didn't seem to break it loose. Sinister silly circular window. It appears to be dusk outside. No way to reach it. I need something stout and hefty and swung like mad to bring that wall to the ground. The crack surface. I believe my way I was through that crack it through that cr I believe my way I was through that crack surface in the wall. Just need the right kind of tool with the right kind of properties. That is very hard and swing able. Hmm. It's a heap of astronomy related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. Oh, grab the wire. I think I'd rather just pick it up. I'll probably use this to open the hatch. But I'm not entirely sure that's gonna work. Damn it. How oh, wait. Forgot to use it. There's no visible lock to oh. pick on it, so... No. Maybe not then. I was obviously out of my element. That made no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know. No way to steer it that way, and it wouldn't help either. I'm not into the... I don't want... Maybe there's a... lock on this? Trying to pick the lock won't help. It's barricaded from the other side. Of course it's locked. Of course. A heck of a lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star-related. Figures. Gotta know them stars, I guess. I need something stout and hefty and swung like mad to bring that wall to the ground. Got a serious structural hazard over here. Looks like a healthy crack at it might spell its doom. Sure, I could scratch away at it for the honest part of a decade, taking the dust to the plink yard in my shoes and hiding my progress under a summer shot of Gabriella de Gorda and a swim bob. Eventually, they'd find me gone, with only good old Gabriella to tell them of my redemption. I ain't got the years though. Or a poster of Gabriella. <laughs> oh, there's a rail. Nope. Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. Alright. Made a nice little sliding hook thing. Halfway there. It's a hook thing I made by tying the piece of wire to the rail. Really high-tech stuff. I'm a natural-born handyman. It's a hook thing I made by tying the piece of wire to the rail. Really high-tech stuff. There we go. One radical red-hot ram rocket ready to go. Will this actually work? <laughs> It's ready, steady, and aimed. Fire! I hope I've done you proud, Mac Viper. Well, looks like I did. <laughs> Tried to miss with the starry flag, but I can't seem to break it. Oh. Alright, maybe we can come back. It looks very, very climbable. 
Well, let's climb it in. Another area. Where's everyone gone? Let this work. Biting my lip, eyes half closed with anticipation, I flicked my finger at one match, then another. The apparently fragile construction proved to be impervious to my attempts at unbalancing it. There was damn good engineering when you needed it the least. The structure would not collapse, no matter what. It's a diary. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. That seemed to make a lot of things happen at once. All right, let's see now. October 13th. It's so hard to get accustomed to the sickening stench of this dreadful fishing town, but apparently it's important to him that we establish our base here, so we just take it. Decorating, coming along nicely. No end to the work. A lot of long and boring entries follow. Seems like some kind of complicated records. Let me skip ahead a bit. Let's see. July 6th. We're all accustomed to the stench. It's probably imbued in everyone by now. Summon the haunter, and he came in a flickering form of a tall, swarthy man with skin made of ebony. Ignored my words and asked for the book, then disappeared upon my answer. We must find it, no matter what. July 13th. His incomplete form is frustrating. Must find the book. We must find it. That idiot Bright left the hatch open, and Lumen snuck up here into the summoning chamber to try to get the haunter's mark. What did the fool think would happen? We don't even bother storing their ashes in the urn anymore. Just leave them there as a reminder to anyone stupid enough to try that again. <laughs> August 6th. Sister Halo's next hobby proved to come in handy. Praise the haunter! I could scarcely believe my senses when at last she finalized the structure and Brothers Bright and Gleam dropped the cannonball on it. Not only did it not destroy what she built, but it lodged itself in the circular space above the stone. It is exerting such pressure on the lattice work that you can take a shovel to it and it won't cave in. It's good to have some smart people join the ranks for a change. Only she and I know how to breach it and get to the stone, so that should at least keep our numbers from dropping. August 7th. Private investigator making waves in Darkham, looking for leads on the book. Might be a dark blessing in disguise. We just stay on his tail and track him to see if he digs up any leads. The book? The Necronomicon? Is that me they're talking about? August 13th. Rejoicing! It's very possible that the hostess's fetch dog has sniffed out the book. Time to retire him and go for the prize ourselves. Hostess? Why did that sound familiar? Anyway, that crazily angled stone. I wanted it. If only to get back at these star-obsessed maniacs. Hmm. I've opened it at its bookmark. The stone from the stars is a window on all time and space. It is within it that the haunter sleeps while the yellow sun reigns. And it is from its circular gate that the haunter's incomplete form rises when the words are spoken. Nor shall he ever rise in his true form until the forbidden book be by his side. No end to the work. I wonder who the haunter is. It's the second book in a row. There's some kind of symbol on its cover and that's about it. I've opened it at its bookmark. It is known that touching the stone from the stars might cast upon a mortal being the mark of the hunter. But none should do it unless prepared to face his cold black flames and turn to ashes and dust. No living soul can know whom the haunter chooses to mark and grant vision beyond time and place. No end to the work. What stone are you guys talking about? It's the third book in a row. The cover consists entirely of a weird symbol. I've opened it at its bookmark. For the butcher is the end of all, and the followers of him who lingers in the night's threshold must keep the slaying one from ever setting eye or laying hand upon the book. The butcher brings but. The rest is unreadable. The butcher? Huh. That's new. Whoa! Oh. So I activated the huge telescope. <laughs> Judging by, what I've, judging by what I've read, that strange trapezohedron thing is of great importance to these lunatics. Tit for that. 
They kidnapped me and denied me food wear symmetry. I take the precious stone. Mama get type didn't raise no pushover. <laughs> the dubious match constructed security structure won't let me get my hands on it. Is this a telescope? Yeah, it is a telescope. An immense rusty telescope hanging intimidatingly overhead. Is there a way to make it go down so we can break this? Are these buttons? No. There's a drawer right here. Inside the dusty drawer, there was one solitary rusty spoon. Unwritten private investigator wisdom says you never know when you could use a rusty spoon. I guess that's true. What else can I interrupt with? The altar. No idea how they got it up here, but I'm not budging it. That much is obvious. I examined the darkened stone altar that held the trapezohedron. Creepy thing. Unusual markings adorned all sides of it. It looked as though it had been subject to intense high temperature conditions more than once. I shuddered at the thought of it being sacrificial. Is that cannonball? A pretty martial looking cannonball suspended somehow above that glowing rock by some order of matchstick engineering genius. It's held in place firmly by the matches structure. Quite impressive and unmovable. These dummies tried their best to tear the windows up, but an intense orange light symbolically shines through. Yeah, I know I don't get enough vitamin D, but this is not the time or place. I do not think this is what- The spoon has nothing to do with it. I just want to pick it up. Yeah. The dubious match-constructed security structure won't let me get my hands on it. Its most interesting feature, a big, convex magnifying lens. I don't think I can pry it out with my bare hands. Maybe I can use a spoon. I carefully place the spoon in between the lens and the metal covering and... Voila! The lens was now mine. Hmm. I got this convex lens from that huge telescope. It's filthy. Blech. Well, let's clean it. Place it back. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> well, I'm going to grab this cannonball and uh, place it inside my pocket because that's not, um, not heavy at all. I most certainly did not burst into cold black flames. So much for this numbskull cult credibility. It did feel, uh, weird. Weird. I don't know. No. Got the stone. They knock fire by touching it, but it feels so strange. Could this weird out be of any use to me? Even if it isn't, like you said, it's revenge for what they did to you and your shoe. Oh yeah, there's some ashes in the... I have no use for former cultists, in ash form or not. The inscription above it says, Here lie in ashes, all brothers and sisters foolish enough to think that the stone from the stars chose them to be marked by the haunter. If the inscription is to be believed, those are human remains in there. Looks like these cuckoo birds tried to tear up the windows and... Failed miserably. I need some. Aren't it? The cannonball will break it. That but... would require a cannon. Yeah, when am I gonna get a cannon? I can't just throw the rock at the wall with a pitching arm and a prayer. This is the wrong kind of temple for that.
He can kiss this rock goodbye, that's for sure. <laughs> it's the crazily angled rock I lifted off these star heads. I hope I'm wrong, but I feel like it's somehow working on me. Damn. Not by itself. It would almost fit, but it'd be too loose. I need it firmly stuck in there. Tried to combine the flak pole with the terry stone, but it didn't stick. Maybe we need some tar. Let's get this stick, uh, sticky. I didn't think we were gonna use the rock to open this. I need Alright, let's see what's your plan. Oh, you're making a hammer out of it. Oh. A sledgehammer. There's just one thing I want to say before I do it. They who can give up essentially liberty to obtain a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Freedom is what we do with what is done to us. Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves. The only way to deal with an unfree world is to become so absolutely free that your very existence is an act of rebellion. Hammer time! Well, it actually worked. Whoa. Oh, oh. 